Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Traditional collaboration systems that involve CAD viewing, that is the ability to see the models you and your collaborators are still working on, often require a client-server approach, a client application running on your desktop or laptop communicating with the models stored in a central server. But what if you can just use your browser to do the whole thing? This is precisely what newcomer Sunglass is proposing. Sunglass, or a web portal for collaboration now in beta test phase, is a browser-based collaboration platform with crowdsourcing, multimedia, and an on-demand app universe thrown in for good measure. Now bear in mind, this is in beta phase, so the developers are still working out some of the kinks. Once you log in, you can get access to create stages and projects. These stages are like virtual podiums where you and your team can present, share, and discuss ideas that are still in progress. Sunglass supports a slew of common 3D file formats like IGES, STL, and STEP, for example, and some native formats like SOLIDWORKS CAD files. With Sunglass, you could have multiple people uploading different components of a scene. So imagine collaborating on an assembly model where different people are working on different parts. Now the track and drop positioning system in the present version of Sunglass works for casual placements, but perhaps a more refined snapping and positioning system is needed, especially for assembly that involves precise mating conditions. Sunglass developers said that they are working on a system where each imported objects will be automatically anchored to a predefined position. You can think of it like reserving parking spots in a parking lot, so each imported object can automatically be dropped into a designated area. So this could work for assemblies. We'll have to wait and see. The browser-based interface has audio chat, a way to invite people to join the session, and also a way to drop notes, as if you are sticking a little sticky yellow posted note onto a dashboard that exists virtually. Now, if you choose to go into crowdsourcing or getting the public to participate in your product development process, you can publish your idea to the community. In a sense, you are making your project public rather than keeping it private. There is also a rendering option, which uses not your local CPUs but remote CPUs on Sunglass server. That means you can continue to work on your desktop or laptop while you are rendering without feeling a system slowdown. Now Sunglass has a direct link to Panoco, a 3D printing shop online, so if you have an account there, you can instantly get quotes and produce your design as a physical prototype. The interface also gives you a small collection of apps, expected to grow over time to include other types of course. Perhaps best of all, if you'd like to show your design to someone, and I mean to show it in 3D, not just sending a flat screenshot, you can publish it with a Sunglass player. Sunglass gives us a glimpse of how browser-based collaboration would look in the near future, complete with options to integrate on-demand prototyping services, crowdsourcing, and even involving people who don't have or don't even know how to use a CAD or PLM program. The beta interface is still in development, so I think it warrants a second look when the service launches publicly. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong looking at the bright promise of collaboration in the browser with Sunglass.